What is up everybody, my name is Fearless, aka Zach Sanchez, and today is going to be a little different today, um, FAM, fun break, uh, on their Twitch um, account, Fun Break Entertainment, went live and did a Rannix training video of, I'm going to guess how Rannix, how Rannix became of who he is today. So I'm very interested on watching this and I finally got the video video working. I saw the live stream at first, but I feel like I should watch it again, but this time I want to react it with you guys and tell you my thoughts about this uh training day. So I fin finally figured out how to do a reacting and the video at the same time. And boy, was that ever tough to do. And if you hear cars out there, I am I so apologize for that with the bad quality um, sound. I don't have soundproof walls, but I wish I did. So here we go, Renix training day. Let's get started. And plus the camera will go off and on a couple times, so I apologize for that, but let's get started. A reoccurring question has been asked since my return. Where have I been for the last seven years? For it all to make sense, I need to take you back a little further. I need to take you back when it was just me, Andy, Alex, and Jermaine. Before there was FAM, there was no black hair on, there was no guns, and there was no bad wall. All we were was just four guys chasing a dream. All we desired was to become as bright and as powerful as the idols we were mesmerized by. To achieve that dream, we had to go through some difficult times. And so, one day, all of us were called up upon by one man. We were brought into a little old dusty wrestling school in the south of Italy. The one that summoned us, the owner and the head of that school, was a vile, malicious and paranoid individual. But he saw something in us and wanted to bring that out. In exchange for his guidance, he wanted us to be his sons and call him our father. Back then, we had no choice but to stick through it all and go through the storming just so we could learn the basics of combat from his wretched arsenal. We decided one day that in order to fully master our craft, we would need to break free and leave that place and find somewhere with enough sanity to finish our training. So we all split up and went our separate paths. Father was not too pleased about his sons leaving his nest, but as much as I despised that man, he was the one that had brought all four of us together. Andy remained in Europe and traveled from country to country within the region and became the lone wolf known as Bad Wolf. Okay, so Alex traveled to the States, New York mainly, and perfected his dominant style there. And it was in the streets of the Big Apple that the beast, Black Heron, was born. And Jermaine, he went over to Canada and trained with some of the greatest wrestling legends that place had to offer. It was in the dungeons that Guns was created. As for myself, however, I had bigger aspirations than my brothers. I did not aim to become a wrestler. I thrived on becoming a warrior. And that's when I had heard the whispers of a secret combat academy in the heart of Russia, known as Aura. And it was at this place where real men were formed. After many months of searching, 
I finally found the place I was looking for. But I quickly had learned that this place was not any normal academy. This place consisted of seven leaders. Slot. Greed. Lust. Gluttony. Envy. Rat. And pride. Otherwise known as the seven deadly sins. Underneath each of these leaders was a class no bigger than ten. You see, this was a tough place to be, and your time there was limited. Hardly anyone made it. You had about six months to train under some of the most brutal conditions known to men. And then, you were tested. You would battle one of the seven deadly sins, and if you won, you would take his place as one of the leaders of Aura. But, should you have lost, your time with them would be up, and you had to leave. After six months of the most intense and grueling months of my life, it was time for my test. I was told that my opponent would be the leader, Rat. But back then, I was brass and immature. I looked at Rat as a leader with nothing to offer, and so I declined my match with him, and instead challenged the strongest leader there, Pride. He was the only man that was going to be any sort of test for me. And I was right. What Pride is capable of in the ring is unmatched by any other man I have ever met. He didn't go easy on me, and gave me a taste of a side of me that I didn't know even existed. At the end of it, I had lost, and thus, my time in Aura was up. I was first to return to Italy, along with Andy Badwell. And it was in that moment that I had created the SCS to continue our training. Shortly after, BH and Guns also returned. And using the things we had learned from our travels, we decided to start FAM. But as you all know the story by now, where I had became a man, my fellow founding brothers have very much returned from their training as mere little boys when they exiled me from this movement. I was angry, confused, but the rat I felt and those moments is unlike anything I have ever felt before. I decided to return to Aura. That is where I stormed in and demanded a match with Rat himself. The other six leaders were outraged that I had just barged in like that. But I had obviously gained some respect from Pride in our match, as he was more than happy to give it to me. And then. Using all the anger and rage that consumed me from what my former brothers had done, I decimated Rhett. I ripped him to pieces. I forever made it uncomfortable for that man to live in his own body. He was never the same again. And for the seven years that I was gone from this place, I remained as one of the leaders of Aura and became part of the seven deadly sins under my new name, Rat. Okay, okay, okay. And it was during my time as Rat that I discovered the entire point of Aura. This was not a place created in order to train a vast number of people to go out into the world. Oh no, this place was designed so that the seven leaders would continue to grow more powerful. We would create skilled and elite athletes using the harsh and brutal methods. And then, once we had built them up, they would just be a test for us to knock back down. Imagine it, training people to be as good as you are, and then battling against your own creations 
just to better yourself. That's what we did. That wasn't how I wanted to operate. Ideally, I wanted to run a movement of people where we would all grow stronger together. But my brothers robbed me from that opportunity, which is why I laid in wait, buying my time, waiting for the day that I could return to the movement that I helped create so that I could rebuild it in my own image. The day was July 26th, 2014, otherwise known as the FAM Royal Rumble. For sure. It was on this day that my brother returned to FAM from the injuries caused by BH and the ultimate power struggle began. Black Heron and Rom were preparing to wage war against each other and neither outcome was going to be good. If BH had come out on top, he would have had more selfish and tighter grip on this movement. And if Rom had came out on top, well, we all know Rom's track record as a leader. It was under his watch that this movement collapsed for the very first time. So of course, everything had to be done to prevent his reign again. It was this event that triggered me to finally make my return to FAM and stop either rain from taking over. I gathered some of the strongest and valued pupils, Darren and Vykel, and brought them along Sleeping for this journey. The, the other sins weren't too pleased to see me leave, but regardless, this was my life's goal. I had returned to Aura to become powerful enough so that I would be able to take back FAM with one clean sweep. And so I did. So, now you know. You know where I've been for the last seven years. I wanted to share this information with you all for the context. I wanted you all to know the reasons why I am the man that I am today. So that in the future, you will all understand the actions that I will take as a leader of this movement. I am not the power hungry and selfish black heron. Nor am I the naive and foolish Rombuster. I am Red. I am the original Sin. And this movement now moves in my vision. So let this be a statement that puts everyone on notice. Only the strong survive in FAM now. Everyone will get their opportunity to prove themselves. But if you don't, you're gone. This isn't a place for fun and games anymore. We will all grow stronger together, or you get left behind. It's as simple as that. May God have mercy on your souls. Wow, this was, uh... Wow, hold on a second, guys. Okay, so now I am, I am back. Um... <laughs> Wow, um, this was a very, this, oh my goodness. Woo, man, um, I don't know what to make of this. This was 100% interesting. <laughs> I thought it was something that they're gonna show in, like, matches or whatever. No, this was fully a story of how Rannick became Rannick around this time. So... Let me break this down. Okay. Jermaine, Alex, Andy. I forgot. I don't know if Rennick really named himself Rennick. I'm not sure. No, I think. I think ah, whatever. Anywho, they're originally the four founders. So that's no wonder why we keep hearing there were always four. Which that's pretty. It's pretty neat that now we know what they were doing. Before making what FAM what it is today, now the the way how they said that they were trained by the father or whatever, I wonder that any time I'm, I'm gonna look at the camera here too because I don't want to make sure I'm only looking at one screen. I wonder that any time that the father would show up in FAM, and you know, 
maybe cause chaos. Who knows? Because they said that it was torment and everything. So, I'm really interested about that. Rennick. Okay, so that's cool. Rennick was training in some place. I forgot where already. Sometimes I need to pay more attention. Um, fights one of the dead, one of the seven deadly sins. He lost the pride, which was pretty bad that he says. And while being exiled, he came into the outrage and fights, um, and fights uh, wrath and beats wrath, which I want to know because I wonder because. He said that the de seven deadly sins weren't very happy that he left. So I wonder that pretty soon now that we're going to be seeing the seven deadly sins. Like it will be interested if they came to fam anniversary and Rob and Rennick finally had to team up to go against them. Maybe that'll happen. Who knows? I'm not too sure. But um, yeah, this was a very, very great reaction I mean well not reaction but this was a very good video to react to because really this was actually something I think everybody wanted to know how Rennick became what he is and he names himself Wrath too so I wonder that if you're gonna call him Wrath now in FAM or no and I kind of think of it that now Vikel and Darren they they worked for Rennick for a very long time since fam anniversary, so I wonder because I want to say what took Vikel so long to finally debut in her match. Maybe it was her time to shine, or it was just wait till leadership comes to um, to Rennick. But. This is a uh, this is very very interesting. I cannot wait to react what's next on a, uh, on the next live video that they have. I had to rewatch this again because I wanted to pay attention more and see what I missed. And um, this was actually interesting. Uh, so thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, remember leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, this uh, this might be a series now. Um, this YouTube of reaction videos. For FAM, because now they're planning to do this every Thursday until uh, the fan of uh, the fan anniversary four comes up. So, <sighs> hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, leave a like, comment, subscribe. This is going to be shared on uh, Twitter, and uh, of course, I'm going to tweet this out to FAM. And see you guys later. See you.